What's up guys? Mike White here. I'm um, gonna give you a little intro video to myself because I do plan on making a whole bunch of videos to uh, have a little, I got a lot of spare time during the winter time and thought why not become YouTube famous I guess. But anyways, um, I've uh, been plowing snow since, um, since I was a little kid. Since I was tall enough to uh, sit in the seat of the tractor that my dad had. and um, As long as I could control that tractor and start it, I was able to use it. Go out and make a little extra money, you know, here and there. But, um... mainly to plow snow. Well, technically I shouldn't say that, I should say mainly to brush hog. But um, my dad runs a business, or owns a business I should say. We're out of Romeo, Michigan. Um, he's been doing it probably 40 years. And I've been doing it for probably 25 years. Um, But anyways, I've been plowing snow for probably 25 years. And I've had a lot of people come up to me and say, what is the, what is the best plow rig? What is the best thing you've ever used to plow snow? Well, my number one thing is this setup right here that I have. That's a 2015, excuse all the fluids and stuff. I've been working on these trucks and all my trucks and stuff for the past, you know, a couple months and kind of ran out of uh, some floor drive for the barn. But anyways, um, that right there is an 8.2 Power V DXT Boss Snowplow. Um, like I said in my past video, I, I up until about 15, 17 years ago, we used nothing but Western, nothing but Western straight blades. Um, the Unimounts, the Ultra Mounts. I'll tell you right now, after using this thing, After using a boss plow for the first time, for just use one for a season, I guarantee you'll never go back. The speed, I mean, these guys, these guys built a badass plow, but the plow that I would use any day of the week is this boss V-blade. It doesn't even have to be a DXT, it could be an XT or just a regular boss V-blade. Um, the truck for choice, I'm using a 2017 crew cab, long bed. A lot of guys will, a lot of guys are going to nag me on the long bed crew cab, you know, because it's too long. If you know what you're doing, you can use it. Um, the first truck I ever plowed with. All right, was a 1987 Chevy. Um, that truck, it had a, you know, it had a straight, eight foot straight um, Unimount blade, Unimount Western blade on it. I thought that truck was a cat's ass. I really did. Um, <clears throat> the only thing now is after 1987 or 88 within them two years there Chevy went to the independent front suspension oh don't get me started on the independent front suspension before this truck I had a 2015 which that plow 
came off of that truck. 2015 Chevy 2500 regular cab long bed. They, that independent front suspension cannot take the beating. And I'm not going to lie, I'm 100% beyond hard on my plow trucks. That suspension on that 2015 Chevy just sucked. Every season, we had to rebuild them front ends. Um, the, it had a 6 6.0 motor in it, gas motor. None of my equipment, or the only thing that I have on my equipment fleet that is diesel is that girl right there. Everything else is gas. But that truck had a 6 liter, 6.0 gas motor in it. Like I said, I am hard on my equipment, um, beyond hard. I've got guys that work for me that it ain't theirs, they don't care. Um, that motor, when I got rid of the truck and we traded it in for this, I think it had a hundred and 15,000 miles on it. I should say after 90,000 miles on it, the truck went to shit. Just everything you could believe on it just went to shit. The uh, main fuse panel for that truck was right here. Sat right above the uh, driver's side front tire. When I traded that truck in, the fuse panel on it was so corroded that the horn didn't work. Um, the bright lights didn't work. The trailer, all the trailer light brake and all that stuff, all that stuff quit working. I went through with a fine tooth comb, cleaned everything out. I mean, still nothing to replace the, the that panel and all that with labor and parts and all that it was close to two grand. So we said, screw it. I said, let's get back into a Ford because we did have probably through 99, through 2003, 2004, we did have our entire fleet was nothing but Super Duties and they were the best trucks, best trucks ever. Minus the old 5.4 exhaust manifolds and all that stuff, they were damn good trucks. Um, Anyways, back to this, back to the best plow, vehicle to plow with. Um, like I said, the Boss V-Blade, Super Duty. This has got the 6.2 gas motor in it. It is a crew cab long bed. Um, tires. I just got these tire, these wheels and tires. Yes, they are dirty as hell. We've actually got a snow event going on right now that I'm getting ready to go out, so why wash it? 20-inch um, moto metals, you know, just aftermarket rims. But the tires on it, I pushed snow twice with these tires. Once it was a... Uh, the first one was a 3-inch event, and the second one was a depending on what area this is Michigan so a mile away you could get a foot of snow um, and where you're at you could get two inches um, it was in between four and six inches was the last snow event that I plowed with and uh, these Trailblade MTs kick ass in the snow for a mud terrain they kick ass um, yeah, like I said, the the trail blades. I, I had the 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 what were they the um the I forget what they were, but they were another mud terrain on my Chevy, and they did good, but 
these do way better. Anyways, I've got the, the Boss BBX 8000 Salter. That Salter, Boss kicked ass on. I'll tell you that right now. Um, we had um, gas motor Salters, V-Boxes, and they, they weren't bad. The only thing that sucked was every season you were taking the... Um, you were basically taking all this off and just completely <laughs> restoring the motor in all of the um, electric components, you know, for the for the controls and all that. Because um, everything was getting corroded. This right here is a sealed system. I mean, everything, your uh, all your con your motor and everything in here. There's an electric motor in here that controls your spinner. One thing I did do a year after I got this salter was replace these. They were, there was halogen lights on here. I replaced them with the LED. I got these from Tractor Supply. I think they were like 40 bucks a piece, but they're on both sides. And then another thing I did do this year, I noticed when I was loading, when I was loading the salter in to the bed of the truck where these bolts are uh, were like a like a rivet plastic black plastic rivet and they all popped out I'm pretty sure it was because of the vibrator that's on the salter um, but yeah I just I think they're about an inch and a half um, lag bolts with two washers that I just zipped in. And they're holding up really good. Um, I've salted probably 20 times this year after putting these in, and I mean, they're still still holding strong. Um, like I said, a lot of people have asked me What 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 what's the perfect plow rig, or what do you, what do you recommend for a plow rig for a beginner? I always recommend a Ford Super Duty, but a standard cab long bed, obviously your shorter wheelbase gets you in and out of places a lot better. But me, like I said, I've been plowing for 25 years and. I know what to look for and keep my eyes open, you know, and all that. I went with the crew cab, long bed. She's definitely long, I'll tell you that much. Um, any boss blade, like I, I said in my one of the first videos I ever posted, you know, we do have, we did have nothing but V blades, but on our dump truck, is a Chevy. I've been trying to talk my dad into getting rid of it. Um, we do have a Boss 10 foot plow, 10 foot straight blade, straight blade plow on it. And that thing just angled left and right is, it's insane fast. I can keep a windrow, I can keep a windrow, um, in the middle of that plow just by angling it up to a up to the pile and push it you know but that's this right here is to me the perfect plow rig this is this is what I prefer so yeah um, you guys got any questions comments you know comment below like share the videos um, like I said in my last one I'm new to YouTube and hopefully we'll be making some fun videos I do have a kick-ass crew that works for me and they've got mouths and they can be quite funny sometimes so you guys will definitely get to meet them and um, we have fun.
more at work. You guys will probably get to meet the crab ass old man of mine. He's been doing doing this business for 40 some years. And uh, he's never gonna retire. So well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and like I said, like, share, subscribe. And uh, I gotta go do some salting. So I'll see you guys around.